Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a split ring. It will look just like this. I'm working on a headband of split rings. When you're doing a split ring, you're going to be working from your thread, your bow thread, and your tail. So if you're going to be making a long, um, a long chain of rings like this along like a headband then you're going to be using a lot of thread i have to uh, attach more thread to this because i didn't leave enough tail okay so you're going to thread your needle and you're just going to make a simple ring let's do three double stitches And a pico. We're gonna make a total of seven picos with three double stitches in between. So three double stitches. Three picos. Pico. Three double stitches. Pico. Three double stitches. And we have one, two, three, four, five, two more picos. Three double stitches. Our last pico. And we end with three double stitches. Okay. So we have our seven picos, and now we're gonna close our ring. Okay, so we close our ring. We can add at the top. And we're not gonna turn our work with this um uh, with this stitch. Um now we're gonna start a ring again with three double stitches. Pico, but we only gonna do three picos with three double stitches in between. A pico, three double stitches. A pico. Three double stitches. Okay, so now you can see we have our three picos in this side. Now we're gonna work, we're gonna pull our tail out of our needle. Okay, you're gonna turn your needle and you're gonna start working with this side of your needle where we thread our needle so you're gonna do the same thing that we did over here you're gonna do three picos 
with three double stitches in between. So three double stitches. Pico, three double stitches, another pico, three double stitches. Our last pico, and we end with three double stitches. Okay. So this is what we have right now. We have three picos and three picos. Now in our first ring we had seven picos, but we don't need that middle pico, which is our uh, middle one, because we're kind of making it right there where it joins. So go ahead and thread your needle again. Okay, so we thread our needle and now we're going to close our ring. Not it on the top, and we do not reverse our work. So that's how you make a split ring. Thanks for watching YouTube, and please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.